Hello and welcome to Broken Lines. Have you ever wanted your World War II to have a little bit more occultism in it? Well then, this game's for you. You definitely want to take a look here, guys, at Broken Lines. As you can probably notice already, um, this is made using Unity, as a lot of the games these days are, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but seems to be commonplace with a lot of strategy games these days. Now, we are playing with a World War II squadron that flies or is trying to fly in to drop units in Germany during World War II, but instead, something goes a little awry, and we land in a location that, quite frankly, just doesn't make much sense. It is an unusually hazy night. The soldiers believe they are crossing over neutral territory. Their mission is classified, known only to commanders on another plane. Instruments break down first. Pointers spin wildly, alarms blaring, and then the engines stop. A single soul awakes, shocked and confused. He doesn't know where he is, or what his orders are. He runs to the crash site, terrified that he might be the only survivor. Okay, folks, we've got our Bren gun ready. And I think uh, you guys can already see a difference in this game with a lot of other games. Uh, I almost want to say it's got XCOM-style movement, but it's almost even a little more advanced than XCOM. Each of these tiles, I mean, look at how many different tiles we can really go to. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to take cover. I'm going to move our guy forward, and he will react with fire if he sees enemies automatically. We can also order him to fire, and he's also got some interesting skills here, including suppressive fire and a bandage. Uh, so let's go ahead. We want to get over here to this crash site, but there could be Germans in the way, or other enemies, for all we know. So let's just proceed forward, keep our wits about us, and keep that Bren gun always close by. I love the graphics so far. I think they're very, very nice for what I would consider a bit of an indie game. Usually an indie game doesn't get graphics like this. Uh, so, so far, so good. Keep in mind, this is beta. And look at this, Nem Numerak Retacta. This is not a German soldier. <laughs> ah. It looks like a German soldier. He's got a Luger, but it almost looks like a German soldier with a gas container from World War I. So we don't know what we're up against, but we know we have to kill this thing. So what I'm going to try to do, is, you can see there, there's a difference between the amount of damage that can be done. If we get really close, we're going to be taking damage from his Luger. Um, and this is the range option in the game that I think is really cool. It really adds a different element to this game. So I'm moving right there. Um, he'll be in my range, I will not be in his. And, as you can see, already started firing. Reload! Not a good time to have to reload, but there we go. First enemy dead. Uh, physics need a little work, but I think it's promising to see that we're going to get something similar to that. Now, that's one dead German. Let's keep our cover and move forward. Especially with early games like this, I really appreciate it when people um, let me know in the comments what they think of this kind of game. Since it's an indie game, it's a different approach than a lot of games we're used to. Um, so, you know, obviously, I think they, the, the creators themselves could use some advice, um, positive or negative. Is that a Jerry? I'm going to give my guy second degree burns with all of this constant um, moving next to fire. And I think we have to go this way, so let's take cover behind the box here. Hopefully not an explosive box. And that's a dead unit for sure. One of our own men dead there. Okay, watch out for the stats of your men. So this guy is actually hurt. Are you alright? He might be able to get up. Hmm. 
I'm splendid, thanks for asking. You just need me to get the intestines back in my stomach and I'll be good as new. That is not good. All right, so what we're gonna do here, remember we have that skill, the bandage skill, but we've gotta use that when we're next to the unit. It's a little different than I would expect. So he'll be in the radius of our bandage. There we go. And now. Let's help him up. You're gonna be okay, son. Um, as you can probably already tell, you're gonna get not just different kinds of soldiers, but yes. soldiers with different stories, different backgrounds, etc. Uh, this guy's already taken quite a nasty hit. He can feel himself fading. But I do believe that we eventually get to reload our weapon, or I should say reload our, our medic uh, kit. And we can also just use F2 and F1 to switch between those skills. Um, to switch between characters, Oi. we're just going to do it up here. And I think it's because it's currently in beta that F2, F1 actually just switches or cycles your uh, weapons. Here we go. Take cover. If I can heal him again, I certainly will. He's got an ability here, the knockdown ability. Uh, it's a single shot with a much bigger chance of knocking down the opponent. All right. I know you don't feel good, Wood. We're going to try to help you out. Ah. Got a med pack somewhere. Let me patch you up. So I think by now we can yes. probably use the med kit again. We can indeed. Let's help our brother out. Okay. All right, folks. Get the feeling that any second now we're going to be ambushed pretty badly. So we absolutely yes. want to move together, but maybe we should start keeping a little bit of a distance between mm -hmm. each other. Yes. Oh, don't tell me I didn't move him. Shame on me. All right. You know what you can do? You can get all the way over here before we do anything else. And, of course, the, the synchronization in this game is something I like. Being able to synchronize the movement between two of your of your uh, units seems really cool. Now, this is Fog. When I first played this mission, I was under the impression that this was a gas, uh, which, of course, you'd want to get out of quickly. But in terms of the Fog, you just yes. want to be careful as to what's on the other side of that fog. This time they should move at the same time. That's what we like to see. Alright, I'm not seeing anything in front of us. Maybe we're going to get lucky and not have to deal with any of the enemies. Now what I'll do, I'll take him with the Bren gun and I'll push him forward. But the second mm -hmm. guy who's got a shotgun, I want to actually, actually go ahead of the Bren gun. So we'll be getting right in the enemy's face if he's waiting for us. We should be able to get an easy takedown. Get down. Oh no, that's not good. Mm. Drum attack. Mm. So we've uh. got a heavy machine gun here. Hmm. We can't fight from here. We need to get to higher ground. All right. So to be able to return fire to this thing, we have to get to higher ground. And I'm not sure how we're going to be able to uh, to hide from this thing easily. But maybe we can throw a grenade. I believe one of our units has Hi. the grenade skill. No, nope. but we do have the suppressive fire skill. <laughs> so there's no way we can go back. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to do more damage to us than we would do to him. All right, here's what I'll do. This is going to be tough to navigate, but I think as long as we take cover here... We should be able to make a break for it. Oi! Let's hope so. From here, it looks like that's a safe location. Can't fight from here, but at least we're not taking gunfire from him. Alright, let's take a look here. Now, if there's any chance whatsoever to use that suppressive fire skill, I'm going to okay. do it. Uh huh. Maybe this will work. Never actually tried this, but I'm going to use the suppressive yes. fire skill with him. And with our shotgunner, I'm going to keep on trying to get behind these rocks. Hey, they are suppressed. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so they're actually currently suppressed. They're going to return fire now. But what we'll do is continue moving. And hopefully we can make it behind this rock. And I'm thinking if we can make it behind the rock with this guy, we can yes. probably make it behind the rock with this guy. Although we should still exercise caution. Move little by little. Oh boy, see, this is the problem. We're now taking serious fire. I'm going to try to move him and hopefully heal him. 
Oh, get out of there, son. Get out of there, son. Oh, and hopefully he'll be able to use that med kit pretty quickly. In fact, we're going to start setting him up right now with the med kit. Can he use it on himself? I think he can. Here we go. Heal up. And we did get away from that machine gun, but not without taking some serious fire. Hmm? So what we can do now, guys, is we can actually get behind the enemy here. Um, sneak up on them. I think we can probably... We can't go this way. We've got to find a way over here. So I'll put our shotgunner there. Yes. And as for our Bren gunner, I'll put him right here. Should be some pretty nice cover in case we're facing any more Jerry's. Hmm. And look at that. Sherman, is that you? We found another member. Hmm. Get behind cover. There's a freak in a mask shooting at me from a path up ahead. Just the one? Why haven't you downed him yet? Well, he's got terrain in his favor, but now that you're here, we should have the upper hand. Okay, so here we go. Enough chit-chat. Let's start fighting. We're gonna have to get behind Hostiles. one of these krauts. And there we go. He's right there. For sure, we want to take cover. Yes? My question is, is, is there any way down for Recruit Sherman? Oh, nice. There is. So he can actually use the plane's wing to get down here. Let's proceed. He's also got some grenades, guys. So once again, each of these units has sort of a special ability, something they're particularly good at. And this one happens to be that grenade as well as the rifle. He's able to shoot at long ranges. Eat this. Let him have it. Yeah. Let's try to yes. finish this guy off. We'll bring our shotgunner. Although from there you can see the enemy's actually doing more damage. So I've got to be a little more aggressive. Aye, aye. Um, I really just want him to continue firing. We could use the grenade right now, but honestly, I'd rather save the grenade rounds. And let's suppress him. So we'll suppress the enemy here. It'll be an easy uh, kill for our shotgunner. Let's go for it, boys. Give him hell! Oh, he's not liking that, but the shotgunner is missing an awful lot here. Die, scum. There we go. He'll be able to get him next time. Uh, we're just going to advance, period. Every single okay. one of these guys will advance. And yes. with Recruit Wood, I really just want to rush the enemy. And go for the kill. Good shot, son. Took him long enough with a damn shotgun, but... I bet these guys are pretty terrified. They're, they're certainly a little twitchy, um, so I guess I'm going to accept that. Mm-hmm. Again, yes. proceeding with caution. I don't know what's ahead of us. But I'm pretty sure we're getting behind those machine gunners. So this might be a good idea to... Um, or a good chance to start using those grenades. Gonna use Avery. Wood. Yes. And Sherman. Oh. Everybody's gonna have cover here. Probably a better idea to send scouts ahead, but what can I say? This is my second time playing. Um, but again, if you if you decide to approach this game from a totally different way than I would, more power to you. Pick the game up and go for it. Um, definitely there's multiple tactical approaches here. What we could do is we could also take that sharpshooter skill, but I don't even think we need it. I think he's going to be able to take him out okay. uh, without much difficulty. So instead, we'll just move up Avery and Wood. And keep good old Sherman back there. Let's just hope there's no crossfire. Yeah, see, he's too far away now. That could be a problem. Nice! Okay, I take it back. Avery's still on his A-game. And in fact, while he's here, we still have a cooldown, it looks like, with the bandage. I wanted to use the bandage, but mm -hmm. we can't just yet. So let's calm down and we'll, oh, we'll yeah. use it a little bit later. Mm -hmm. 
we're getting close to the exit, but over here is going to be pr either one or two Germans. Um, oh, fine. And that depends on whether or not they actually stayed there or whether they moved elsewhere. So we're going to start oh, pushing yeah. ahead. Love hmm. to be able to use the grenade here, but we'll have to wait just a bit. Because I don't know exactly where they're going to be standing. Come on, boys. And of course, we get that flanking bonus. If we can get that flanking attack, Aye. we get a flanking bonus uh, for the attack itself. Hmm. Yes. And look at that. Two enemies. So this is absolutely yes. a good opportunity to take the grenade. Once we get into cover, we're going to throw it here, assuming they don't get near us. One of them has an MP40, which can be extremely deadly if you can't already guess that. There we go, grenade out. Unfortunately, it's going to be slightly away from the enemy, but I think we'll still be able to catch him as he's going to run directly to us in terror. And there we go, a headshot on the enemy. So you can see there are different kinds of grenades you can get throughout the game. This is just what we get in Mission 1. Ah. We're lucky to survive all that. I don't feel lucky. I feel sick. But I wouldn't give to be home again. Should be fairly easy to manage. You just have to climb those massive mountains in the distance and avoid being gunned down by all mass ginks in the way. What is this place, anywhere? That's a question for the lieutenants, assuming their plane's not a flaming wreckage like ours. So as you can see, it is a story-based game. We do have to proceed to find out where these lieutenants even are, if any of them have survived, yes. um, and whether we can also find some oh, more fine. units. And by the look of the, um, the game art, I'm sure there are other units um, out here in these, I guess you could call them haunted woods, uh, and hopefully we'll locate them in subsequent missions. So there we go, guys. We got that. a mission complete. We're going to go ahead and continue and take a look at what comes next here uh, in Broken Lines. Haunted by nightmares of a strange enemy wearing strange masks. The survivors get through the night. What have they stumbled into? They so it's one thing no I really idea. like is the atmosphere of this game. Being able to sort of relax uh, in the surroundings with all of the guys that have survived the mission at the end here in the camp. And as the game progresses, you're going to unlock different things, different activities in the camp. Um, you know, places where you can get additional items, additional med kits, uh, maybe even, you know, recruit new units. So we're going to go to sleep and wait until the next day, the next mission known as Uncertainty. And in this particular mission, instead of being out in the open, we're going to be scouting a nearby village. Are there enemies there? I'm not sure. The fact is one of our planes landed there Lord and the villagers survivors. are sure to be pissed one way or another. One wonders. What brought these soldiers to this place? Will the locals welcome them? Or will more blood be shed? Hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, three additional soldiers mm. Uh, these guys managing to actually bail out before any of the serious action happens. Um, and this is going to be an entirely different mission. Uh, looks like fairly similar weapons, however. Anyway, guys, what do you think of this game? Is this something you would pick up? Keep in mind, it is still in beta, so there's a lot of work to be done. But I absolutely think it's promising. Personally, the only thing I think hurts this game is the fact that it is a story-driven game. Uh, that usually, for me, takes a little bit away from the replay value. But as long as the story is good enough, I think I can deal with it. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel.